The Welsh Government wants to improve the well-being of Wales now and into the future. We have recently delivered three pieces of legislation to help us to do this. The Wellbeing of Future Generations Act is about improving the social, economic, environmental and cultural well-being of Wales. It makes certain public bodies think more about the long term, work better with people and communities and each other. They will look to prevent problems and take a more joined-up approach in the pursuit of seven well-being goals for Wales. The Social Services and Wellbeing Act is about reforming social care and improving outcomes for people who need care and support and for the carers who need support. The powers in the Act protect people from abuse and neglect. The Violence Against Women, Domestic Abuse and Sexual Violence Act is about prevention of violence against women, domestic abuse and sexual violence, the protection of those who experience it and support for people affected by it. Tackling violence against women, domestic abuse and sexual violence and safeguarding children and adults at risk will contribute to several of our well-being goals. The National Training Framework will help to develop a skilled, well-educated workforce in this subject area, contributing to a prosperous Wales. Those at risk of abuse can experience long-term detrimental impacts on mental and physical health. A focus on prevention will contribute to a healthier Wales, improving how those working with families are equipped to recognise need, linked to poverty and financial strain, will contribute to a more equal Wales. Ensuring families, friends and other bystanders are better equipped to offer help and support to those in need will contribute to more cohesive communities across Wales. Put together, these actions will contribute to a more globally responsible Wales, in particular to Goal 5 of the United Nations Global Goals on Gender Equality and Empowerment of Women and Girls. The three pieces of legislation have important links at a local level. The Wellbeing of Future Generations Act ensures that certain public bodies are required to work together in public service boards to improve the well-being of their area. This includes local authorities and local health boards. The population assessments required under the Social Services and Wellbeing Act help build a picture of the care and support needs in Wales. Local authorities and local health boards are required under the Violence Against Women, Domestic Abuse and Sexual Violence Act to work together in the preparation of their local strategy for tackling these issues. It is also important to ensure that governance arrangements to tackle these issues are linked to the work of public service boards and reflected within the work undertaken by regional safeguarding boards. This will contribute to a more robust response and to the safeguarding of children and adults at risk. It is vital that signs of violence against women, domestic abuse and sexual violence are identified as quickly as possible. Ask and Act outlines a process of targeted inquiry to identify these issues more effectively and offer earlier intervention. Successful implementation of Ask and Act is likely to have a positive impact on the economic, social, environmental and cultural well-being of those affected. The Social Services and Wellbeing Act strengthens safeguarding by defining an adult at risk. If a local authority suspects that a child or adult is at risk, it must make necessary inquiries to decide whether any action should be taken and, if so, what and by whom. These pieces of work complement each other and present an opportunity to better identify those at risk in our communities. All three acts require collaboration in the development and delivery of assessments, local strategies and well-being plans. Integration to develop joined-up ways of working to create a fairer society where everyone is able to live fear-free. Involvement of stakeholders and service users to inform strategic oversight of implementation through local strategy development and contributing to good safeguarding practice. They all place strong emphasis on prevention of problems occurring or escalating and think about the long-term impacts of the decisions we make today. 
These three pieces of Welsh legislation share an ambitious vision of a more equal Wales. In consolidating related work wherever possible, they will help us to improve the well-being of Wales now and into the future. For more information, visit livefearfree.gov.wales.